Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Skyrim Zimik. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Wednesday, the 6th of May. India's health minister reviews coronavirus situation in worst heat provinces. Taliban not fulfilling terms, says U.S. Defense Secretary. And nature shows healing signs in Nepal, India amid coronavirus lockdown. Now for all the details, India's Health Minister Harsh Vardhan on Wednesday reviewed COVID-19 situation in Western Gujarat and Maharashtra provinces where number of coronavirus cases have increased in recent days. India reported 49,391 coronavirus cases as of Wednesday. The total number of coronavirus cases in India reached 49,391 on Wednesday, with over 2,500 new cases reported in last 24 hours. With at least 126 new deaths, the death toll due to the virus has reached 1,694 in India. Amid the huge spike in COVID-19 cases, Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan held an online review meeting with authorities in Western Gujarat and Maharashtra provinces where a large number of coronavirus cases are emerging daily. Dr. Harshwardhan, while addressing the meeting, said the rising number of patients in Maharashtra alone is surely a matter of concern, but there is a need to take stringent actions to create more green zones without new coronavirus cases in coming days. Case ka number badna wo koi khatarnaak nahi hai, lekin case ko jaldi se jaldi diagnose kar lena समाज में उसके कॉन्टैक्ट्स को कॉन्टैक्ट ट्रेसिंग से पकड़ना और उसको तुरंत आइसोलेट करना समय पे अस्पताल में लेकर जाना ताकि मोर्टालिटी जो है किसी भी कीमत पर वो हमारी ज़्यादा नहीं होनी चाहिए इसके बारे में हम लोगों ने उन्हें कहा है इसके साथ साथ हमने उन्हें ये भी कहा है कि देश में जो हमारे ज़िले ग्रीन जोन में है प्रभावित नहीं है हमको ये भी सुनिश्चित करना है कि वो अनएफेक्टेड ही रहें India entered the third phase of its nationwide lockdown with some eased restrictions in non-containment zones on May 4th. The relaxations, including opening of liquor shops in some provinces, led to long queues of people outside alcohol stores, forgetting social distancing. Authorities in Indian capital New Delhi even imposed a special tax of 70% on retail liquor purchases from Tuesday to deter large gatherings at stores. But the move has also failed to stop the tipplers. At least four terrorists were killed in two separate encounters in Pulwama district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Wednesday. Police said Riyas Naiku, a top commander of Pakistan-based Hezbollah Mujahideen, was among the slain terrorists. Operations were still underway in the district till the last reports came in. There have been a series of skirmishes between security forces and terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir this week. India long blamed Pakistan of infiltrating terrorists across the border to spread unrest in Kashmir Valley. Moving on, political activists have termed Pakistan's Supreme Court's decision to hold elections in Gilded Baldistan as illegal and unconstitutional. They blame the move aims to establish Pakistan Tehreek A. N. Saf's rule in the illegally occupied region. Political activists have termed the recent decision of Pakistan's Supreme Court to hold elections in Gilgit Baldistan and form an interim government there as illegal and unconstitutional. The apex court on April 38 allowed the amendment to the government of Gilgit Baldistan Order 2018 to conduct the general elections in the illegally occupied region in September and set up a caretaker government. Gilgit Baldistan government is presently headed by Chief Minister Hafiz Hafizur Rahman of Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz.
इसका एक ही मकसद है कि किसी तरह से वहाँ पे एक ऐसी हुकूमत कायम की जाए जो पाकिस्तान तहरीक इंसाफ की हुकूमत हो यानी इमरान खान की पार्टी की हुकूमत हो तो उसके बाद पार्लियामेंट से बिल जो है वो पास करवाया जाए और गिलगित बल्तिस्तान को पाकिस्तान का पाँचवा सूबा बनाया जाए दूसरी तरफ ये हो रहा है कि पाकिस्तान आर्मी जो है वो पूरी कोशिश कर रही है कि किसी भी तरीके से गिलगित बल्तिस्तान में हैवी डिप्लॉयमेंट जो है वो ट्रूप्स की की जाए मीन वाइल इंडिया ऑल्सो कन्वेड इट स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रोटेस्ट पाकिस्तान ओवर द डिसीशन एंड सेट इस्लामाबाद वॉज टोल द एंटायर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड लद्दाख इंक्लूडिंग एरियाज ऑफ गिलगित एंड बल्तिस्तान आर एन इंटरवल पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड दैट इस्लामाबाद शुड इमीडिएटली वैकेट द एरियाज अंडर इट्स इलीगल ऑक्यूपेशन Activists have long blamed Pakistan for trying to change the demography of Gilgit Baltistan. They accuse Islamabad for grave human rights violations, exploitation and denial of freedom to the people residing in the region. US Defense Secretary Mark Esper has said the Taliban is not living up to its commitments under the agreement signed this year. The Taliban and the United States signed an agreement on February for reduced violence and a move toward intra-Afghan talks, but attacks by the group have increased since then. US Defense Secretary Mark Esper has said The Taliban is not living up to its commitments under the agreement signed this year. Amid signs the fragile deal is under strain by a political deadlock and increasing Taliban violence in Afghanistan. As per while addressing a press briefing on Tuesday said, the Afghan government and the Taliban both need to come together and make progress on the terms that are laid out. He added the Afghan government is also not living up to its commitment. No, I don't think they are not and, uh, and neither side is in this case. Both need to come together and make progress on the terms that uh, that have been laid out. The the best thing the Taliban could do right now is to live up to the agreement to get to a reduction in violence. After lengthy talks over months, the Taliban and the US signed an agreement in February for reduced violence and a move towards talks with the Afghan government, but attacks by the group have increased since then. Progress on moving to negotiations between the militant group and the Afghan government has also been delayed because of the political feud between President Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah who both claim to be Afghanistan's rightful leader after September's disputed presidential election. However, Ghani and Abdullah in recent times have shown signs of a possible resolution in near future to fight together as one nation against the coronavirus pandemic. which has claimed 95 lives in Afghanistan so far Banks in Bangladesh witness scores of customers coming to withdraw money or other related work as government extended the country's coronavirus lockdown for the fourth time until May 16 Long queues of people formed outside banks in Bangladesh on Tuesday after government extended country's coronavirus lockdown for the fourth time till May 16. Residents wearing masks and maintaining social distance were seen outside the banks as many customers were also withdrawing cash to spend during the ongoing Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Staff also provided hand sanitizers for customers and checked their temperatures as a precautionary measure to prevent the spread of the deadly virus. Bank ya se ta ka joma dite ta ekono 2 ghonta shomoy lagche. Ta ekon kichu korar nei ekane hat duti wash korte hocche er pore me ekane niyom maintain korte jar kar phole etu bilombo hocche. Eta kichu korar nei amade. Not all branches of the various banks in Bangladesh are open amid the coronavirus lockdown leading to longer waiting time. It is common in Bangladesh for people to withdraw cash from bank branches instead of using ATMs. It was just our numbering to dawa je shobai seriality thukben. Ekta bata. Bangladesh has so far reported more than 10,500 cases of the novel coronavirus with at least 183 deaths due to it. At a time when there is a panic and sorrow due to coronavirus pandemic around the world, nature is showing signs of healing amid the lockdown imposed in several countries. With less pollution, skies and air in Nepal and India are now clearer, giving people a heavenly feeling and stress-free moments. Mm-hmm. 
Nepal's capital Kathmandu has been covered with a beautiful purple blanket of jacaranda flowers which are in their full bloom amid the spring season. As the Himalayan nation has been under complete lockdown since March 24 to contain the spread of the novel coronavirus, vehicles are two off-roads helping in nature to heal from pollution. Also called as Jacaranda mimosifolia, the purple flowers usually bloom in the month of March and April and decorate city of Kathmandu. It has kept its tradition since a century and has been the reason to cherish and overcome sorrows for local residents who call it a treat to the eyes. Lockdown ko karan jati bani janta harko mon dukhi to bhai kothiyo tras bhai kothiyo. Tis lai birshau ne gariyo sare ganda phool jasta jun kathmandu upar dekha ma bibin na istana pa istha monomog dirshi haru dekhin cha phool phule ko dekhin cha lataramai phool haru dekhin cha. Is lai karan janta harko jun bir door haru thiyo. Tis lai ne kam gora harko anubhuti huncha ke. किन वने उल्ले बीर साई देखो सो इतनी आनंद मन महोत्सव साकी साथ चीज़ के स्वर्ग का पुये जस्तो सो। Meanwhile, the similar lockdown in neighbouring India's Mumbai city, which made skies and air clearer, attracted hundreds of pink-plumed flamingos to a lake recently. The migration of the birds is an annual phenomenon, but not on such a large scale. Looking for a peaceful environment, the migratory birds were seen feeding and wading in huddles on the mud flats. Large and bustling Ramadan markets across South Asian countries are desolated as coronavirus lockdowns have stopped shoppers from heading out in crowds to purchase food and delicacies to break the fast during the Islamic holy month. South Asia's usually large and bustling Ramadan bazaars are a ghost of their former selves, as coronavirus lockdowns by various governments have stopped shoppers from heading out in crowds to purchase food and delicacies for iftar, the breaking of fast. In Pakistan, as the call by the mosque echoes around at sunset, the Itwar or Sunday bazaar in capital Islamabad, which used to be thronging with customers during Ramadan, because of subsidized rates of basic groceries, is closed and deserted. पिछले साल यहाँ पर पांव रखने की जगह नहीं थी इतना रश था और इस साल तो ये जगह इस तरह इतवार बाजार खंडरात का मंजर पेश कर रही है तो हम जैसे मिडिल क्लास लोगों के लिए एक इतवार बाजार ही सहारा था। On the streets of bazaars of Old Delhi, it is hard to tell that the annual month of fasting and festivities is already into its second week. The main road leading to the historic Jama Masjid Mosque, always bustling with crowds of buyers and sellers, bargaining for everything from snacks to toys for children and from clothes to jewellery items for adults, is desolated as all the hawkers have been told to stay home. It seems that this year will be empty. The children will not be able to make Eid. If the work is done, how will the children do this? How will they do this? How will they do this? How will they do this? Meanwhile, similar scenes are being witnessed in Muslim-majority Afghanistan and Bangladesh, where most markets remain closed and empty during Ramadan in a bid to prevent the coronavirus spread. Traditionally, iftar is a communal affair for Muslims, a time to feast with loved ones getting together to break their fast, either at home or in large public spaces. But this year, COVID-19 has cast a shadow over the world's 1.9 billion Muslims as they observe the month of fasting. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. India's health minister reviews coronavirus situation in worst heat provinces. Taliban not fulfilling terms, says U.S. Defense Secretary. And nature shows healing signs in Nepal, India amid coronavirus lockdown. Now, our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline. And follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button